due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. Welcome back to the other side of the Beehive. It's your weekly boys. Nope, got the wrong one, but hey. <laughs> Hey, we are, so we're sitting here with a uh, fantastic guest today. If you are one of those guys or gals that think mm -hmm. you have a face for radio, right? you're out of your fucking mind. Right. Am I right? <laughs> uh, Becca Hayes, thank Hi. you so much for uh, joining us today. Thanks for having me. I'm yes. excited to be here. We, uh, I've been devouring your podcast. Oh, good. Yes. Every day for the last two weeks. I'm nervous I'm gonna now. Up now. Would you be, <laughs> would you didn't have one this week? And I'm like, what's going on? Well, I, we know we were supposed to podcast last night yeah. and then we got drunk. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, priorities, right? Yeah, yeah, most, exactly. most of the time yeah. we drink. And then podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the don't get me ones. wrong. We do that too. <laughs> <laughs> we just got way too drunk. <laughs> um, so uh, how long have you how long have you been doing your podcast for? Mm, you know, I started so it, you know I started podcasting right before I got into radio, and I actually my very first podcast was about the O shot, so the orgasm shot. We were, you guys we were going to ask you. We'll about go. This. We'll, <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> so that was my very first one. That's before I even got into radio, and then I then I got discovered. And, and if you guys want to talk about that sometime, yeah, I don't know sure. if you do or Absolutely. not, but. Then I got discovered, and so then I kind of put my podcast aside. Right. And I always knew that I wanted to call it The Good Girl um, because I felt like, you know, I was raised LDS and mm -hmm. more Mormon for most people that know that. Right. And I just was always The Good Girl. Yeah. And then now I'm transitioning. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm, like, horrible it's, or it, anything. It's, it's so funny you say that because I, when I, I was talking to, to Justin, and I was, talk, I was also talking to my wife, and I said, when, you, when I see her Instagram, like this chick fits with us, mm -hmm. but then when I hear the podcast and you kind of like, you're like taking back Mellow a little bit, a yeah, little you're bit. It down. I'm like, what is she coming to do with us? I, I, I believe we've asked herself, does she even cuss? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure yet. Oh yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's just I'm not one to where just I just throw out the f bomb and yeah, and right. just it's just whenever. Whenever I feel it. It's See, just, I told you, it's tacky. Yeah, yeah. neither. Yeah. neither. I, I like, <laughs> you know, it's, no, for you guys, I was listening to you guys actually on the way here, and I was like, I, I really, I was entertained, and like, there's some people that, that cuss that don't do it in a, a right way or appropriate yeah. way, if that makes sense, and then you guys, I mean, it's just like shooting the shit, and yeah. I thought it was, you know, yeah. sounded good. So, speaking of cussing, though, mm -hmm. radio personnel. Uh, yeah, one oh six seven. Is that the right word? Yeah, personnel? for for Utah. Yeah, for Utah, it's Rock one oh six seven. So it's it's all over the country, though, right? Mm -hmm. How many radio stations is it? Um, I think we're on like we're on four. So we're in Nashville, we're in Memphis, and we're also in Oklahoma as well. Nice. So have you ever cussed on the radio? See, and that's a, that's another reason too. When I podcast, I kind of hold back my because you're used to because I'm used to and I can't yeah. cuss on the radio. Right. And so, you know, I've gotten in trouble. I was, I was <laughs> actually, I was, I was, I was actually trained like that too because my we, we've gone over this millions, millions of times. My grandma's a pastor back home, a pastor back home. Mm -hmm. So, I had to be myself when I was in school and with friends and everything, and then I have to tone it down when I was. In my, I mean, I go to my grandma's house, earrings are out. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't. You know, that it, it, and it's not that I'm afraid of my grandma. It's just so much respect that I'm like, I don't even want to. No, it totally makes sense. You know what I mean? I'm the, I'm the same, with, same way with my dad. When my dad comes to visit me, I mean, I, it's to a point where I have to hide my coffee machine. Like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it really, it pisses me off because I'm like, you're in my house, dad. Yeah. I am all, fine, I'll, I'll put it away, you know? And it's just like, yeah. he didn't even know when I had tattoos, like he lost his shit when he found out I had my first tattoo. So, it is a hundred degrees over here. Why are you wearing a turtleneck? Yeah. This is... This is not a turtle. Oh, no, I'm just ass. saying when your dad oh. comes in to hide the tattoos. <laughs> I'm still kind of drunk, guys, okay? <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> That's so funny. So how, how was your uh, your uh, your transition to get in, into radio? So you just mentioned that your podcast was first. Yes. Um, and if, So you started on the radio last last year, It's right? been over a year now that I've been with Rock 106.7, yeah. Nice. I Heart Radio. Nice. Mm -hmm. did, did you know the person before you? No. And I never even thought about going into radio at all. Oh, like, okay. I just, I, I knew I wanted to, so this is kind of how it got started. So I used, I still kind of do it on the side, but I'm a makeup artist as well. Mm -hmm. right. So I do makeup tutorials 
videos and stuff like that. And I'd always make people laugh because okay. I always say like just absurd things why I was putting my makeup on. Yeah. Right. And so I started to notice that and people are like, we just love it when you go live, Becca. You just really like bring a certain energy. There's something about you and you can really make us laugh and smile. And it's like mm. not just about your makeup. Like I don't even... You know, there's some people that are like, I don't even wear makeup, but I buy it just because you're fucking hilarious. Right. And I'm just like, oh, gosh, guys, thank you. You know, <laughs> it just it just really was so kind. And um, and so then that kind of stuck in the back of my mind. And I always like my life is kind of well, it's really crazy right now, yeah. especially. But I just feel like I'm, I'm always being pulled in a million different directions. And mm. people just can't believe like the shit that I do or the places that I go or yeah. And, you know, and I'm also a mom. I have two little boys, Boston and Tucker, they're four and five. And so like I have, it's almost like I have the aspects of all different par like parts of life. Like I'm the mom, I'm the stay at home mom. And then I'm the, the fun party girl. And then yeah. I'm like the shooting the shit with the guys. And it's just like, you know, you combine all that. And like, there's a lot of shit to talk about. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, I got stuff to talk about. And so mm -hmm. that's when I started to, I started the good girl podcast. And my first one, I went, I think I, I tried YouTube live, which I've never done yeah, before. Right. And I'm like, I don't even know how to work this thing. And I <laughs> tried it and then I shared it, I think to my Facebook and hooker, which is one of the radio hosts that I yeah. host with on, on the morning show. He was there last night too, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he so. came to the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him and yeah, come yeah. at my party. We, we were sitting here. We're like, oh, is that hooker? Like, yeah. <laughs> which I'm like, gosh, is this a good thing? Like, do I really want to like work, you know, mix work and friends? Cause yeah, I, was, right. I was a little nervous cause I tend to get a little toasted at yeah. my parties, you know? <laughs> and like, <laughs> that was like kind of a risk for me. Um, but yeah, he was there last night and. So yeah, he's the one that actually discovered me. So I don't even know somehow like my video popped up because all the views or something like that. Right. And then he watched me talk about the other shot and he's like, wow, she's really got something. Yeah. You know, she needs to work on a few things, but you know, I really like her energy and all this stuff. And so, and he also watched some makeup tutorials. Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> so. Hooker's <laughs> like, I might be able to use this later on. Yeah. Know, so. How do I enhance my cheekbones? <laughs> oh, yeah. But is, 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 he, is he like a... Uh, Cause, Cause, right now he's the one who's been there the longest, right? Uh, DB came out. Well, I mean, for Rock 106.7, yes, but DB's been in the field the longest. Yeah. Like he's been iHeart, same building, everything for like, God, I want to say twenty years. Wow. Like he's he's the original. So, yeah. um, I'm, I'm dying to have him too. To have him here on the podcast. <laughs> he's a hoot. If you can get, yeah. you know, I think you can. I'll try, I'll put it a word in for you, but I, <laughs> but he's fun to. Yeah. I, Is it true that he's not a video guy? Like he doesn't like to be on video. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Um, no, I don't know. I, I mean, I've taken some videos of him and he gets mad at me. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It all just made sense now. Huh? Well, I know he, he, he did. A, he did one of our friends podcast. Shout out to Dre and isolation podcast uh, in, in uh, it was during, well, we still in this pandemic kind of thing, but, mm -hmm. but he did it through, uh, they did it through zoom, right. through zoom. And, and, and I said, well, how come? And, and Dre told me that he's not a, visual kind of guy mm. yeah i don't know he's he's kind of it, it really depends on the day like mm -hmm. what his mood's like because it's all over the place yeah <laughs> it's, it's so, like one minute <laughs> so, so is, is your podcast on youtube or it's just audio i yeah no i haven't done youtube yet i started to with my first one before i got into radio and then i just I'm such a slacker. That's basically the reason why it's not on there. Yeah. Like I keep, I'm like, I need to videotape this. Right. And I just been slacking. So I, it is eventually going to work its way to video on YouTube, but it's, yeah. it's a whole new monster when you go from the visual and then you got to mix. And I mean, mm -hmm. the, Angel's the one that does it for all of us. And he just spends countless hours on it. I'm, do you, do why you, I just sit around? And, <laughs> yeah. What am I supposed to be there? And do you do your own post work? And yeah. So I just basically, so this is what just to, start over a little bit from where when I started so I started the radio for a little bit and I put that on the back burner the good girl podcast mm -hmm. and then um I Heart reached out to me and was like Becca we need you to start a podcast I was like oh well <laughs> I kind of have one already I just yeah, haven't right. done anything with it and they were like we just want you to talk about your life and I was like okay so I started you know I revamped the good girl and I basically I'll do the editing and stuff and I just send it over and I don't even know how to plug it in on like Spotify, iHeart, like they do all that for oh, me. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's way nice. Like, cause nice. I don't think I would be able to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, is it hard? I don't even know. No, I, I, I went as, as, as soon as, as soon as, as soon as we took over video, uh -huh. um, 
I I added I I went from like a twenty minute editing to like an hour and a half to hour. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not yeah. doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then and not only that, but we we also post clips uh-huh. of uh and on our Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. And we mm-hmm. all, we've also done clips of just us bullshitting and asking each other's questions and like funny videos. And then I go home and I have to. I have to edit him and everything. And I used to do it on the phone. I used to do everything on the phone. Once again, Dre, shout out Dre. He's the one that gave us that camera. And says, you guys, oh, you guys need to Nice get, job, Dre. Yeah, he was <laughs> He was like, you guys need to get visuals like ASAP. Don't give him too much credit. Right? No. Yeah, it's a big head. Relax, relax. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else I was going to ask you? So uh, you're from Idaho? No. Oregon. Oregon. Oh, Oregon. 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 No, Oregon. I'm yeah, an I Oregon know. girl. I know. I was, yeah, I don't know why I Oregon had that brain dogs. fart. Because, because... Uh, Easy there. Dude, there's so Easy. Many, <laughs> Calm down. There's so many people that hate on my on my Utes just because of the stupid ducks. Hey, I like the Utes They're still. People, people that are Utahns. Yeah. They drive me absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah. But no, my sister just moved to... Uh, well, I forgot the name. Well, so. there you go. That was good yeah, timing right there. Wow, you really know your sister <laughs> very well. <laughs> Astoria? Oh, I know where it... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my bad. Astoria? I know where Astoria is, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. she just moved there. I like, are you ready to come live here? I'm like... Oregon's nice. I just, I don't think I could ever go back. It's too slow paced for me. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like, that's, re- if I'm going to retire, I'll go to Oregon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Right. See, my, my little brother went w- with my mom and he's 15. And I said, mm-hmm. so did you like it? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but, but I said, well, let, let me ask you something. There is nothing for you there. And he goes, not one it's thing. beautiful it's beautiful yeah. out there i've been out from the oregon to washington i lived in washington for a little bit but that mm-hmm. drive is absolutely the coastline stunning. is that what you're yes. talking about yeah. yeah it's beautiful it's um, gorgeous but that's about it i think you're right it's well and that's the thing when you're a kid growing up in oregon you don't really appreciate the scenery unless you're just mm-hmm. some weird kid and then you're like oh my gosh look at those trees how they move like you don't you just, you kind of just you hang out with your right. friends and do what kid stuff but it, there's not a lot of stuff to do for kids there yeah. And so that's why I'm like, when I'm a lot older, I would go back and I would appreciate the beauty because it really is such a beautiful state. Right. And I'm originally, I'm from uh, Southern Oregon. So Grants Pass. So it's just a small okay. like valley. It's yeah. really, a lot of people drive through it. Yeah. They're like, they never stop. They just drive through, you know, <laughs> my life. Just drive through it. No. So, go ahead. Being in Oregon and growing up it, here in Utah, it's pretty common well i'm lds you mm-hmm. know what i mean but you hear that from other states it's almost kind of a shock but there, mm-hmm. there's actually mormons outside of Utah. right yeah so you did live in a you grew up lds yes my i was raised lds and um for the most part i lived it you know i was forced to like either i was th- either i went to church i was grounded so i mean you didn't, you didn't go on a mission <laughs> no uh, i almost did yeah, i thought about everybody, it i almost went on a I mission i really did i had the, there was this moment in my life i'm like i'm gonna go serve the lord and then it went away real quick yeah <laughs> And then I was like, oh, I just got in trouble with a boy. Damn it. I'm going to serve the Lord Damn it. A, right after this beer. I actually didn't, uh, you know, for the most part, I think because my dad, oh, bless his heart. He just, he just threatened me so bad. He's like, if you drink, you're going to go to hell. Right. Like, and obviously the sexual thing, like he threatened me about that. He's like, you just need it. Tell you're married. Don't, don't have sex till you're married and all this stuff. And like, that was a hard temptation. And mm. so that I failed multiple times at that, at that, but I'm just going to admit it right now. <laughs> not, I'm not going to test drive the car, dad. <laughs> right. Before I purchased you the think damn I'm going to buy this thing? Like I got to give it a few test, <laughs> test drives. Um, no, but the drinking thing, I actually was for the most part, pretty good at not drinking. And I even moved from when I was 19 years old I moved I was born and raised in the same house so like country girl on a little farm like right. seven acre like tiny little farm and then I'm like I gotta get out of here or I'm gonna be just I'm gonna get stuck right yeah. and I always knew that there was something like bigger and better for me I always had this feeling and I can like I can never fight it I can never put it under the rug and I was like I just gotta get out of here and so I ended up moving to Las Vegas out of all oh, places. the devil's nectar, huh? <laughs> right. so, um, I, Which, I went from the grasslands yeah. to hell. I want to quit cocaine. I'm moving to Colombia. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Well, I've never been one to like, I've always go from one extreme to the next. It's yeah. never like ease into anything. I'm just like, yep, let's just go. Like both feet, I jump in. Is all life the- really fucked up there though? Is what? Is life really In hard? Vegas? Yeah. Um, You know... <laughs> It, it was it was different for me because I didn't drink and here I live in you know yeah. in Vegas and so it was a different point of view from from my point of view like right. but people like my roommates and stuff like that that's a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Vegas <laughs> life I lived there for like six seven years and my roommates like they sure enjoyed themselves I mean I had fun too like I I was actually still in the church and um, 
I actually met Dan Reynolds from Imagine Dragons. We actually dated for a little bit. Oh, okay. We were in the same ward, but I didn't nice. meet him that way. Dan, I, come to the show. Anyway. <laughs> no, right? He doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> I got to, yeah, anyway, that's yeah. another story. Um, but yeah, so I met some really cool people in Vegas, and I really, yeah, not drinking, it really gives you a different perspective. And I mean, I drank one time and that's when uh, I broke up with Peter the Cheater. And obviously oh, I, I do remember the Peter the Cheater <laughs> yeah. stories. Yes. yes. Do you realize how many people you make it famous from your podcast? <laughs> really though? Just, you're, welcome. Yeah. you're welcome. You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. You know about poor the, Peter's like, fuck. I know. I know you listen, you bitch. Just get, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel? Like Wake every, up to my every voice. Every month he gets a check. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She spoke about me like twice this week. <laughs> right? <laughs> So Don't funny. say I never gave you anything. What, what, what's what's the uh, what's the coolest thing you've gotten to do uh, because of the radio? You got, meeting someone famous or um, God, you got to go skydiving. Yeah, yeah so that's that? the most recent thing was skydiving, and I um, did skydiving with Skydive Utah, and that was an experience. I so why did you jump out of a perfectly good airplane? That's <laughs> right. My, that's my question. <laughs> Well, this, have, this has fuel. Yeah. Well, we what, are we doing? what are we doing here? I mean, well, these, we, these suits are cool, but other than that, let's just chill here. No, I didn't even get a cool suit. Okay, I'm still kind of bitter oh, about oh, that. that no, sucks. I yeah, you just freaking street street clothes. What the hell? Um, you got to be strapped down to homeboy too, don't you? Yeah, I didn't mind that. Okay. You know, I was just like, what? Do you need to get a little tighter? Tighten that up because I feel a gap. <laughs> Is that a flap by there? <laughs> Do we need, we need tight something know, down? This came with a stick shift. What the <laughs> fuck? Is that a rudder? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, pull. She's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, um, yeah. So we did a contest last year. We had one going called like leap of faith, jump, jump out of an airplane with Becca. And mm -hmm. obviously I was the guinea pig, which I didn't mind. I like doing crazy shit yeah. and I never done it before. And so then just recently, just like a couple weeks ago, I did it and I didn't like, usually I didn't prepare myself. I all didn't right. research it or anything. And I, we jump out of this. So we were up there in the airplane and I'm looking around. I'm like, damn, we're, we keep climbing. Like, wow. really? We got to go this high? You know, and it's, it's pretty high and we're in a small uh, airplane, which yeah. when I've done my research, usually those are the ones that go down Yeah, because they have one engine. That's it. <laughs> one engine goes out. You're fucked. Yeah, like, you're, right? but, the, but can they glide and stuff yeah. i mean if you have a really good pilot i think, I think gravity has something to do with that other but uh, you know what honestly I've, I've, him and i talked about this we know you have a, f a friend that's a pilot yes my best girl. friend mm -hmm. we would love to have her too there's so oh, many yeah. questions oh, we want to ask a oh, yeah. she's a she's a, she was at my party last night and she was the one i was supposed to podcast but we both oh she it's funny that she uh she actually sprained well not sprained uh tore her acl last night <laughs> there was a lot Jesus. of injuries that happened well, last that's night. not a cheap injury either. no and well, she's ew. had both knees replaced if we're so. learning something today it's just don't go to becca's house well, no <laughs> hey i've learned i'm just not gonna play sports anymore when i'm drunk so we're just gonna chill on the deck and just maybe swim that's it we're keeping it low-key from now on <laughs> That's so funny. I, uh, I uh, how, how long is the how long are you falling for? I mean, uh, to, to the, uh, um, before the shoot. I opens. think before the shoot opens, it's like a minute free fall. Holy shit! But it seems like ten minutes. <laughs> and we, <no>. she's <laughs> not helping us. When I jumped and the air was so cold and I couldn't breathe, it was almost the sensation. This is how I compare it to. But it's like when you're drowning or you get water up your nose, like you know you have that that feeling where you're like, well, it, it's a weird feeling. You can you compare that. That's like my sex life. Oh, <laughs> to me it's oh, one wait, minute. Wait, to her it's ten minutes long. Which well, come on. <laughs> yeah, that was a good comparison. <laughs> Basically, it's just that. <laughs> But yeah, so it was hard to breathe when I first jumped out and I was like trying to catch my breath. I didn't. And again, if I would have researched, I probably would have yeah. known this and been a little bit more prepared. But I guess each with each jump, it gets better. That's what I've talked to or oh, I talked okay. to the other guys about. But yeah, I jumped and I was like, <gasps> what do you do, though? Um, like if you can't breathe, you just can't. Breathe. Well, you figure it out. <laughs> Obviously. <I'm guessing. laughs> 
He's one of those way, things you figure way, out on the fly. By the way, literally, Be- Becca blacks out, flipping up the camera though. <laughs> well, the camera guy was like, "I'm sitting here trying to focus and concentrate and trying to like breathe," and he's sitting there trying to take pictures. I'm like, "Fucking hell, I can't even breathe." And he's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "I'm like, I gotta hurry and smile because I know they're gonna snap some pictures and put it on the fucking website, so I gotta look like I'm having a good time." So, so the first thing I do is, <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? DV's like, "Why'd you flip the camera off?" I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" I don't. It just, it just happened. I, I wasn't thinking, obviously. And then the shoot opens, and then I'm like, oh, I can breathe. But if you think about it, it's only a minute, and you can right. hold your breath for probably longer than a minute, maybe. I no? Think mm, I don't know about that. No? no really? I don't know about that. I've yeah. never, I've never, <gasps> I probably haven't done it. In a while, <laughs> I could do it for at least a minute, I think. But when you're just panicking because it's yeah. everything's oh, so yeah. new. But yeah. I, I definitely highly suggest them. They are such a great and professional company. You guys should do it. Secret. I think you should do it. No. Yeah, no. just well, do it. It's all for the it's all for the gram, dude. It's all for the gram. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my my uncle did it, and and I remember when I talked to him, he said, "Do you feel like your eyes are going to pop from the back?" And I'm like, <laughs> you well, "That goggles? sounds great. You can't breathe. You wear goggles. Your eyes are going to pop out of your fucking head. <laughs> you might die. You want oh, you want to jump out of a plane? What? I'll pay for let's it. Get oh, going. You want me to suffocate while I'm going down? <laughs> yeah, let's think about that. Um, it's funny. So. Are, are you guys is are you guys as, as close as it seems to be on the on the on the radio? Because there's like a, outside of the radio, there's a good there's a good niche in there. Mm-hmm. You guys fire off re- each other really well, mm-hmm. so it's good to listen to. So, oh, good, thank you. I you appreciate know, we, that. Uh, we enjoy it, um, and I th- I'm sure other people do. And on top of the fact that you guys don't get into political bullshit, yeah, and yeah. it's refreshing mm-hmm. to hear that in the morning when I go to work and I'm on my way to work. I don't want to hear the shitty news that's mm-hmm. going on. I want to turn it, get a laugh, get my, get my day going. And so, exactly. you know, I, you know, it's, it's great to listen to you guys. Yeah. You know, we try to stay away from the, like the whole political talk and then the religion talk, like right. things that are so like, I mean, you could get yeah. into that, you know, and we don't, I feel like sometimes DV likes to test the waters a little bit, but yeah. for the most <laughs> part, we, we try to stay clear from that. And right. as far as relationship, I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we all have a good relationship, but yeah. then, you know, that's me. I don't, I don't know how they really truly feel, but I think <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm kind of like, you know, the younger sister. I'm like, Hey, can I come guys? Can yeah, I come yeah, along? Yeah. You know? And they're just like, no, <laughs> no, you don't need to come. No. But for the most part, we do really, I mean, I think we enjoy each other's company and like we shoot the shit, but you have to realize we don't, I mean, besides hooker coming to my party last night, we usually don't hang out outside of work. Cause it's like, we're, you know, seven hours we're there every day. It's right. like I'm married to both of right. those guys. Are you guys oh, still doing God. the Zoom? Um, the Z- oh no, we're in the studio now. Oh, we're back oh, in the okay, studio. Good. Yeah, good. we've been back for like a couple months now. Nice. Probably a over a month. Isn't it horrible right. though? Did you did you like it? Um, <clears throat> this is what I I loved it because I didn't have to get my my nanny didn't have to come because I have my kids majority yeah. of the mm-hmm. time and I have to leave my home at like four thirty a.m. So I'd have to have the nanny come and, you know, do all that. So it was nice that I get to stay home and my kids should still sleep. Mm-hmm. And then like they kind of just do their thing when they wake up and I could be going while I was in my closet <laughs> broadcasting. Were you really? Yeah. <laughs> well, because my office is open and oh, okay. I don't want the kids like, you know, right. talking or, while we're on bird. air. Yeah. You or the bir- made you bird famous. Uh, oh, first of all, that bird's gone. Oh, it's gone. He, he it? flew the coop yesterday. No, no. <laughs> Cooper's Flo- laughing. Flo- yeah. What kind of bird is it? <laughs> Flying the coop is one thing. Did he actually fly or did... Mm. Maybe. Wait. <laughs> spiritually. Let's say spiritually, right? Okay, this is what really happened. I'm wait, going to be real wait, wait, with you. You were barbecuing last no. night. No. <laughs> I was going to say, I watched you eat chicken it wings. Was a bit- <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of meat on there, is there? Everybody saw... What is that yellow yeah, feather in there? Oh, guy. don't worry about it. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I'm going to be real with you. God, what happened at this party last night? My God, man. Oh, we thought we lost my dog, too. That's all another fucking story. Oh, that, that, yeah, anyways. Well, okay, I was trying to take a nap. This is, this is actually, yeah, Friday before the party, because I had my kids still. And I was trying to just get like a 20 minute nap and they, I just put on a movie for him. Like, Oh my gosh, I'm just going to close my eyes just for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Right. Cause I'm, you're right. <laughs> and, uh, I, I start to go, you know, that point when you're like starting to fall asleep and you're like getting into that good deep sleep. And then I just hear this me, 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 me. And I'm yeah. like, 
Cooper, shut up. I'm like, I have to yell at him, and which is so sad. I totally mentally abused the bird. <laughs> and I'm like, and he's like, me, me, me. And he just would not shut up for some reason because usually that will do it. And like, I finally, I just stormed downstairs and I opened the cage and I said, go free. Oh my God. And I totally let him out. And I know like it's, it's a whole, I'm a big animal lover and you know I love what? animals. You did it on the 4th of July. So yeah, yeah. that's America. <laughs> that's awesome. Fly free, boy. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm never going to get a bird again. I just don't think like you have the freedom to fly and we cage you. It's like, I, it's horrible. I know, I know exactly. What it's you, horrible. So I you know, know what? <laughs> fly free. Fly. My, my wife has a pigeon a pigeon what? A, a sky rat no listen don't you? people shoot no, those listen, yes. this motherfucker wears <laughs> this motherfucker wears pants stop uh -huh. it i'm not even kidding in fact when i go to the house and 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 i mean i got videos i can show you she nowadays my wife walks out to take the dogs out and and, and uh to have a smoke or whatever mm -hmm. and she passed on her on her on her head mm -hmm. and the bird goes on top of his of her head they both go outside the bird is free to go mm-hmm and wow, then, it doesn't then, leave, and, huh? No. See, Cooper just was like, peace. He just, he bailed. Yeah, but you beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I did, okay, I didn't <laughs> beat him <laughs> mentally. Come on, it's different. Maybe that's what the dog wanted to do. He was like, oh, God damn it, I got caught. <laughs> we look, oh my gosh. We looked for hours for my dog and he was trapped down in the basement. Someone freaking opened the door and he went down. Oh, I thought he was looking for the bird. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> hey, do you, do you think that uh, in a way... Um, maybe not, maybe the word's not going away, but it's kind of falling from being so special when it comes to radio and podcasts. Don't you think podcast has taken over a little bit? Wait. Cause, cause, cause here's, here's my thing. Like mm -hmm. I, 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 I love to hear you guys, but when it comes to like that commercial or that song, then you're mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah, like I, 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 I kind of lose it a little mm -hmm. bit. You know no, I, mean? I totally get what you're and saying. This is, and this is, I'm guessing things because all I do is podcasts. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I listen to them or I'm doing them. You know what I mean? No, I mean, and we put our show to podcast. And so oh, yeah. that cuts out the commercials and stuff like that. But it's not as, you know, we have to edit it down too. Right. So you don't get the full effect. I mean, you get yeah. the meat of it and you'll still laugh. It's still funny. But I totally get what you're saying. Like I... I prefer listening to podcasts than mm. actually like live radio. I mean, unless we're really funny, because we are. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't stray away. No, yeah, I need sure. the ratings, Kate. Dude, if I'm, you guys leave, we go way yeah, down. I, 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 he's, he said it. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I, to, to me, DB is one of, if not the funniest guy on radio. He's funny. And when I met him, we, I'm not meet him, meet him, but I there was a like a bike rally here in some shop close to here mm -hmm. and they were doing some oh you're a biker uh, yeah and see my chain yeah, he's got a chain wallet just <laughs> so you know oh, that makes you a biker yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. that so automatically official, means official, you have a harley yeah. okay <laughs> um but they were doing some so fucking stupid <laughs> they were doing uh motorcycle tr uh tricks and shit yeah and, and this guy st stood up on his tank and like opened his arms and DB out of the blue goes, the Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. And I just <laughs> fucking lost it. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? He's a hoot. He, I, I love he him. He really does have a talent. Like some of the things like he could just come up with on a whim. I'm like, dude, you fucking kill me. You're so funny. You <laughs> just, he's, yeah, he's, he'll go for days. Like he doesn't even need to take a breath. He'll just like, just bust out all this funny material. And I'm like, that is like, he's like, it's years in radio. And I'm like, okay, DP. <laughs> he's completely sober too, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I I want to say 10 years sober, maybe. Wow. I don't know. But yeah, his. We need to know. So when we have him. Yeah. <laughs> don't bring out the alcohol. Just don't be, tell him that's iced tea. He likes Diet Coke. Just do the Diet oh, Coke. Oh, my man. Diet oh. Coke. Diet Coke. And mm -hmm. he's a, he's a X videos guy. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Just like your boy. Wait. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny because his wife, Nikki drinks and I'm like, how do you do that? How do you, how do you stay at home? And then she can have a couple beers in front of you. Like you don't ever get tempted. And he's like, no, he's like, I just know she likes to chill and relax and I don't want to ever like take that from her. And so nice. I think that's actually really cool. Oh yeah. I think it's really cool. Cause I, th I know a lot of people that are recovering alcoholics. They can't even, there's no way that their partner could drink in right. front of them. And there's actually like, I think the other day he said, he's like, yeah, I accidentally like grabbed her drink and had a little sip. And he's like, oh, oh, and he spit it out. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm like, good for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's pretty cool. Nice. <clears throat> to flip the script, mm -hmm. we have to know, the listeners need to know this. Mm. Tell us about the O-Shot. 
<laughs> the OSHA, okay. It, oh, it's, it's, first on, it's first on my list of things mm-hmm. I've got to ask what the well, hell this is. Well, men can get it now. Did, but, yeah. Okay, so what is it for? Okay, so it stands for orgasm. Yeah, yeah. So but, it helps you. Oh, shit. I've had three since I've been here, so I don't know if I need it. <laughs> you probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take yours out. <laughs> um, is it like one of them little things that they put up in and like. Well, okay, so a, this an is. IUD. No, yeah, it's not. A, no, about. no. So the, what I really actually appreciate about the OSHA is they actually um, extract your your blood and they put, I can't remember the spinner, what it's called, but they put it in the spinner and it spins your blood for like 20 minutes and then it it takes out the rich blood platelets. Mm-hmm. Right. And then they inject that back into like, well, for a woman, like the G-spot, uh, the clitoris and like on the sides of the vagina and the wall. And that, it just makes, it's like. How do they know where that's at? They have specialists <laughs> that do Dude, it. After all, yo, after all the the dick conversations we've had for the longest time in this podcast, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, finally, vagina, yeah, finally, you know, finally, finally the vagina's on shut here. Up, shut up, yeah. the it's not all just bro science right here. We're getting some real facts. Let's give it to the tulips. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they put it in. So the- they inject it back, and so what that's supposed to do those um, the rich blood cells, uh, they. Uh, you grow tissue from it. So you're getting new oh, tissue okay. down there and that makes it like more plump and sensitive. <laughs> so. Horrible choice of words. Yeah, but, I, yeah. but, but you know what? <laughs> I understood. <laughs> <laughs> so women are able to come a lot faster and then they can actually orgasm through sex because they're actually, there's quite a, there's a high percentage of women that can't even orgasm through sex, which breaks my heart. Yeah. Because right. if I was one of those, I would be like, I would be pissed. By the way, for all the for all the ladies right now that are asking to get that shot, we're like, so you haven't had one this whole time? Like, we've been married for 10 years. There's a lot of women that fake it just to please their man. Because usually women are a I little bit... I need to bit, make a phone call. Yeah. You probably- <laughs> <laughs> but this is just... Uh, so is this... Uh, where do you do this? Just to, uh, uh, this- Usually, majority of the clinicals like are... Um, I'm trying to think what they're called. The uh, like surg- surgery center centers, mm. oh, okay. surgical centers. Excuse me. Right. Uh, they'll they'll do it. Majority of people have it, and so you just go and ask for the O shot, and you can obviously Google it and say what you know who provides the O shot, and you can go and find it that That's way. That's what it's called. The O shot. Yeah. So uh, you said guys can get it too. Yeah. So probably about six months ago, they came out one for for guys that help them orgasm because some guys take a while to you know depending the age. Well, it's true, I right? Thought, I know. Well, I thought problem? that was the name of the game. Right no, there. no. Depending on the age or if they're on a certain You're prescription. You're telling me I've been thinking of dead puppies this whole time and that's not what you <laughs> yeah, got. That's, that's not what my wife needs. Right. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> Yo, have you, ever, have you ever counted? Have I ever counted? Yeah, that? like you like you don't, like obviously you don't want to focus on so you're like one, two, three. Really? <laughs> no, Damn. No, I don't think I <laughs> tell me your, Tell me your number there, my friend. Oh, I don't know. I guess. I haven't done it in a while, but but I, but I have done it before. Yeah, sure. you counted. Yeah, dude, you gotta be able to. You gotta like computers. You gotta be buffer. You gotta buffer a little bit. You, you stop, but <laughs> you like start thinking. Well, you you know you do have to preheat the preheat the oven for a woman. Exactly. So I do appreciate that you've counted. So I think that's great, and I think <laughs> kudos that's to you. Not, that's not preheating. That's just putting it in and setting the timer. I think is what he's doing. Dude, one one of the stories. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of dicks and vaginas, one one of one of your stories on on your on the podcast. Uh-huh. Um, you got to. You so you used to be a nurse. Or I used to ner- be a lot of things. Nurse uh, practitioner, a, a, a sonog, a, yeah, sonographer. ultra sonographer. Yes, yeah. I, I diagnostic thought, <clears throat> medical sonographer. I thought you taught you taught scuba diving. That's what a sonographer <laughs> was. <laughs> no. It's a what? Sonographer. Scuba it's diver. Like, oh, yeah. you do movies, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so you got to, you got to treat this. Oh, Mexican fella. The oh no! Dick. Yes, the, the micro well, penis. Well, I'm here to talk about. It's a true thing. I'm here to talk mm-hmm. on behalf of all the Mexicans. <laughs> I send my. So you wa- have to. D- you deal with the micro penis. I Bless oh, your heart. I'm I, so sorry. I sent, no, I sent my wife to the hospital <laughs> twice with a, bu- a busted ovary. What? Damn. Yeah, dude. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, I did. You also have shit. a chain wallet too, right? Yeah, I yeah, a chain. Yeah, like, the wallet got in the way. You like, got to remove that shit before you have sex. Babe, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I was born to ride. <laughs> she's a, uh, yeah, when she's those so, are gone. She's so pegging me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, so the tech that would have been scanning her, she would have been, she would have thought the same thing. She went, man, your man's big. So yeah. kudos on you. So you couldn't find it, huh? 
Couldn't find what? The, oh, the microphone. <laughs> No, is that a thing though? It's a. Th- I didn't. So you said when I was listening to the podcast, mm-hmm. you were all. I've seen it in textbooks, yes. and I thought, wait a second, this is not just talk around the fucking water cooler. This is real. This is in mm-hmm. literature, right? It's a, this real, is a real thing. thing. Yeah, and I, I mean, I didn't think it. Is it really called micro penis? Though called, that's the correct term is oh micro penis. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called Justin. <laughs> it's Justin penis, <laughs> depending on the day and how much he's drank. <laughs> No, so yeah, I would, and I was still a student, so I was still in training, and I had never. Usually, we don't do many penis scans because you know there's no bones in the penis. <laughs> and okay. uh, as, you're, as you're sitting in your scrotum in your, ones are the big ones. Those are the hot topics. Okay, as you're you're sitting, all day you're long, like all day. <laughs> as you're sitting there in your room reading this, you're like, can't wait till I come across one of those. Just right. trying to make a fly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So what, what was what was <laughs> what's uh, so what was this guy's problem? He, he apparently um, I, I got to think back. I think he had uh, some pain, obviously in that area. I don't remember exactly what was the the whole problem and issue, but he, there was some pain, and I went in there to scan him, and I lifted the towel because so we have them get undressed prior to that, and they put a towel over the area and. All I saw was Bush, and I was like, "Dude, this guy doesn't have a penis. Like, we, there's they've got it wrong. Like, maybe I have to scan his. It, his it scrotum. looked like his chin right here. Yeah. Exactly. I was yeah. looking at that earlier, and I was like, micro penis. Well, we just we just talked about this. We just talked about this on our last episode because when I was new to this, when I was new to this country, uh, one of my friends, like I, I went to him and asked him. I said, "Do you shave your pubes?" He goes, "Well, yeah. We got to trim it." And, and and I I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, this is back in. Last year, yeah. Just kidding. What? <laughs> this, is, this, is back, this is back uh, like two thousand one, maybe. Yeah. This and, and so I was like, "Do you really?" Because I've seen it in porn. He goes, "Yeah, you have to." Mm-hmm. And ever since then, I. Well, this gentleman obviously, and, and he didn't speak any English, yeah. so that was really hard. The barrier, so I didn't really, we couldn't really understand each other, and um, so yeah, so it was nothing was shaved. It was literally like your beard right now. <laughs> Like I'm looking I'm, at that I and I'm totally that having flash. That. I'm having PTSD right now when I look at your beard. No, yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> no, I didn't even get that. No, I didn't even see a pinky come out through the beard. <laughs> Jesus. So I mean, and I I feel horrible laughing about it because it's a it's an issue for some, and I I I'm, mean I feel I'm sure for he guys. doesn't listen to the podcast. Hopefully. I think you're fine. I know. I think he's married? learning English now, and he's listening he now. Married? Oh yeah, he's a <laughs> fucking bitches <laughs> he's talking about me. Do, do you? Uh, I don't uh, think he was married. No, no. It's just this poor old. Um, he wasn't old. He was in his thirties. He was younger than me. God damn. Dude. Yeah, I thought he was an older. No, gentleman. he was in his thirties, and yeah. So I, I was totally embarrassed because I couldn't find. I didn't. I had to have a tech come in, and she just plopped some gel on top of the bush and put the transducer down. That's like the picture taker. Uh-huh. And then she saw some stuff. I did. I still. I looked at the um, the screen, and I still couldn't see. I mean, it was nothing there. And we couldn't, we couldn't figure out his issue. Maybe he just you guys know got into a beehive or something. I don't know. Ah, you know, <laughs> I see what you did there. Do you? Uh, uh, can you guys shave them? That's not that's against protocol. Or? Um, no, we know that's like a surgical. Like you have to have like not be a doctor, but a nurse to do that. Like to right. shave and stuff like that. We don't do that. Not the sonographers. It's got to be a barber for that. It's got, <laughs> we got to bring in the barber. You know. <laughs> have you have you ever said anything on your podcast you regret? Mm. Um, because we do it every episode. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what editing's for, right? Like yeah. you, that's the good thing about it is like you go back and listen to it. You're like, yeah, I need to take that out. But okay, but how how does that work with you? Because you don't do your own editing. Well, I do do my own editing. Oh, I just send okay. it the edited version. I send oh, it off, and they, and they it plug off. it I into see. the the media world right. that I have no clue how to do. Yeah. Okay. So, which I probably should learn one day, but. Me yeah, takes time. <laughs> no, but I added to you one lady. Yeah. <laughs> I got better things to do, like get drunk on a you know Friday night. First, first of all, do you do you listen? Kill parakeets and shit. <laughs> hey, he could still be alive. Easy there. Could you imagine? He's all. Man, it's cold tonight. <laughs> Stop all it! All these booms going off. No, you're just making lost me so bad. And, you know what the worst? Or thing? he could be living life. You know what the worst thing about it is? Yeah. Be- because you know what the, the, the worst thing you about it is? You know winter's coming up, right? Stop that is it. a tropical bird. Well, he's got some months to prepare. I okay. hope he dies in your porch. Hey, <laughs> easy. This is what you want to... <laughs> 
<laughs> Did um, the worst thing about it is because because I thought about it with with the pigeon that we have at home because because at one point the wife was like I'm just gonna take his pants off and go outside <laughs> and if he wants to go away then you know so be it but he sounds like my ex husband but he's <laughs> sounds like I'm every take guy. his pants off and let him go away. <laughs> Peter, no, is it pigeon to pigeon to Peter or what's it? pigeon pigeon to cheater? But he 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 uh, he he's so used to people that you know he's he gonna would see, end up in the wrong crowd. He's, well, he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna start smoking cigarettes and drinking. He's gonna be wa- he's well, there's a person that's gonna be walking by and he's just gonna land on their on their head. Yeah, you know and they're I mean? gonna or, freak out and, and kill him. And then and then you know I have my bigger dogs by then and he used to ride on their backs mm. so. You know, he's not going to be afraid of cars because he mm-hmm. takes car rides. I mean, I know I sound absolutely <laughs> well, stupid right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, you, know, you put me, up I a know. case for this pigeon. Trust me, I know. I well, just, Cooper, he's fine because he hates everybody. Taxes. We claim him oh, on our taxes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pay, I, as you should. I mean, you're, you're freaking <laughs> putting pants, pants on this on thing. It, yeah, yeah it's, it costs money. But, but it's just, the wife was like, well, it's so used to animals and cars and dogs and everything. Like, you, if you let him go, he's, he's just going to get hurt by somebody. Yeah, not Cooper. Cooper hates pretty much. He hates men, all men. Mm-hmm. Like he'll, they've put their fingers in the. Ca- I'm like, don't do that. Well, so and do they put, we. Well, yeah, you know, don't put your fingers in the cage. Then yeah, he'll attack it. And so, and then he hates uh, brunettes. He only likes blondes and women. Not funny. Hmm. I mean, and that's why I kept him for so long because I'm like, you're so unique. That's yeah. kind of hot. But then, I didn't, yeah, I couldn't handle. <laughs> I couldn't handle the freaking chirping. That was the case. <laughs> I I need to be in a cage. <laughs> you probably do you, should do you, be. Do you? Uh, I was going to ask you, do you listen to to your own podcast? Yeah. I don't like to. Really? Mm-mm. I'll do it for when I'm editing it. And then after that, I don't want to listen to it again. So you so you, basic, so you basically record and then listen to the whole thing you just did? Mm-hmm. I'll, yes. When I'm editing it, I'll listen. And sometimes I still miss stuff because I'm like, have a beer in my hand. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, and then, then I'm watching, you know, Little Women LA and, uh, and I miss it completely. So... Little Women L.A. I used to watch that. Do you know what that is? Oh. <laughs> it's the little people. Spinners, dude. Oh, little people. Spinners. Oh, sp- little okay, people. okay, gotcha. <laughs> Spinners. <that's laughs> what... Spinners. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I had that nickname for a minute. You yeah, Speaking of TV shows, mm. you were were you casted? Or... Yes. Are you talking about the Temptation Island? Do you know what this is? Mm. I know what Temptation <laughs> Island... Well, okay, so <laughs> I think I've seen the... She was going to get hired to go on a fuck island. Yeah. But I was going to be the good girl. Did you know? Did you? <laughs> so the, did you? So with the microphones and headphones. <laughs> I didn't get my podcast. Yeah. Did you? Did you tell him that when you applied? You're all, oh yeah, I'd like to do this, but I'm going to be the good girl, right? <laughs> no, I so didn't like, tell oh, him yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just my plan, you guys. Oh okay. Uh, no, they reached out to me and they asked me if I'd be on the show, and um, the, through some people that suggested me, and I, I actually was going to do it, but then they wouldn't. Um, I Heart Radio wouldn't allow me to be away from the radio for like, I think it was like four or five weeks I had to be gone. So, oh, okay. I mean, basically the show would tank if I wasn't there, you know. I, yeah, for sure. I basically I know, know, I saved will, it. I'm not going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> but so, you, where is this thing, this place at? On um, the, the island? island. It's Antelope, it's <laughs> I Antelope, have no clue. Antelope Island. Yeah, it's just over here, you just, know, just, up just, the road. Someone's backyard with the pool. <laughs> Somebody's backyard. It's Park City. <laughs> Above ground pool. So, no, you you say fuck island. <laughs> mm. Are you serious? Is that what it is? Well, he, okay, so he, here's how it was explained to me by my boss. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> first, because he came to me, have you seen this show? And I'm like, no, he's just, don't waste your time. <laughs> okay. So apparently they put a bunch of hot people, uh huh, men and women, okay, and they each get given money mm-hmm. from the get-go. But then every time they get tempted and they hook up, then they take money away from them. Isn't that what it is? Well, there's couples that go on there. So they test the couple's faith, like in love and like, you know, if they're going to be faithful to one another with these singles, I was going to be like the single, I was going to be the the tempter. Oh, the temptress. (laughs) The good girl. (laughs) She's all, it's all Becca, the temptress. Basically, you know, just 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 another Wednesday. Oh, you guys are hot. Yeah. I jump out of a plane. Everybody's all, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Get that woman out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, oh, I just had a brain fart. Sorry. Mm, it happens. I'm all fucking excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited you're here. We had, we had, we like, I told him when we were walking here, like, we were watching your, your uh, stories last night. Uh-huh. Like, 
is she gonna come? <laughs> yeah, because for all we know, it was like you're gonna get you know, wasted. Was, there's like, a lot of shots going down there. <laughs> you know, the old me would have just probably like postponed this, but I really, I'm, this is what I'm really working on: not being a flake for one, mm. and for two, it's just like what you put out in the universe is what you're gonna get back, usually right. tenfold. And so right. I'm like, if I commit to something, and I think that's something that I'm doing really well lately, I've just if I commit to something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow through, whatever it is, you know. Right. Maybe not relationships, but prior, you know, anything else besides that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm still working on that, okay? Uh, Takes time. <laughs> Baby steps. How? That, that's another thing. Your your ex-boyfriend was it's all over your podcast. Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's part of my life, you yeah, know. Like, right. relationships are big in my life. I love being in them. I go through them a lot, but I, I do love relationships. And so I can't leave that out. I cannot talk about, you know, that. Well, it's just a period part. of your life. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just the songs that go along, the pictures that exactly. come along. It's just a period of your life. Yeah. Right. So, and, and for people that are in similar relationships with me, like either it helps them out or gives them a laugh or whatever. So right. it's all about, you know, yeah. it's about them, not me. It was so weird because it was, it was so weird because on on the on the the entire time that I was listening to your podcast, it it just seems like you basically let people get to know you, you know, pretty close because yeah. because you're you're laughing and then at the end you're you know at the end of another episode you're like bawling yeah and then it's like oh yeah I have this guy that's with me and then the next episode not the next episode <laughs> but I'm like oh yeah I'm we're not together anymore and 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 uh -huh. so I'm like oh jeez like I, yeah. I know where she lives I know where she, <laughs> I know her boyfriend's name <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm you know I'm a really you know and that's sometimes a downfall but for the most part I think it's a, a positive I'm a very open person and you know, I want people to know, like, this is the real me. This is the real life. This is, I go through highs. I go through lows. You know, there's some times where, I mean, I don't know if I ever talked with, talked about this on my podcast. I think I have. I think I mentioned it briefly, but there was a period where I was, like, just super depressed. And I wouldn't answer my phone. I wouldn't, you know, return phone calls. And I just basically, when I didn't have my kids, because, you know, you have to put a, a little bit of front on for your kids. Oh, yeah. And when I didn't, when they're with their dad on the weekend and he had them or whatever, I would just stare at the wall. And I would just like, gosh, you know, I'd get in such like, not not necessarily a dark place, but a place that I didn't like to be. Right. And I think it's important for everybody to see all the aspects of that, all the angles. And a lot of people, not a lot, but some people, especially influencers, you only see, you know, what they allow you to see, like the right. appearance. And it's the good usually. It's the, oh, fun times, the, the social, pretty times. The social media world, right? Yeah. Where everybody posts all the cool shit, exactly. but none of the other stuff. Like, right? I want to see the ugly times. Yeah. You know, I want to see you ugly cry. Do you, do you, <laughs> does the podcast, getting on and talking about that, help? It does. It's almost like that? a therapy. Right. Yeah, it really right. is, especially with the people that I trust and love the most. Like, right. I, I have a hard time. Um, I mean, I haven't done it lately just because the podcast is is based on my life right. and so i haven't really ventured out and and sought other people out on there it's mainly my close net my people right it's my my group and i'm trying now i'm starting to it's going to start taking a turn now now i'm going to re reach out to people that either inspire me or i think like hey they got a cool story um like next week i'm going to podcast i gosh what is his name um i just kind of discovered him on instagram but he's a he's a big um health health entrepreneur like mm -hmm. bodybuilder mm -hmm. and but he went through he had a crazy past like drugs alcohol all time low and i i love that i love it because when people go through those times or where they hit those lows it's almost like you add that extra energy out into the world like you have something to say right and i i just love that he has made such a big comeback and where he is at where he's now in his life is amazing and he has that what's the word um when you go through the hard times, there's just something, it just, it's just another notch, you know, on the cool belt for me right. when you, when you've experienced some pretty dark times. Right. Hmm. Yeah. We, we've had, we've had a couple of those. We, uh, he's got a veteran friend that we interviewed and then I have one that we interview and it's, those stories are like fascinating. Yeah. And just, and just for us to be able to, <clears throat> sorry, for us to be able to get away from the dick and balls and just get in, into something that it's, you know, like a little bit uh, serious, some, uh, something serious. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's like, you know, some people, you know, someone's life that went yeah. through and it's still going through. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome. Yeah. 
Well, I just, yeah, I love that it inspires a lot of people, especially like you just never know who's going through something, you know, sometime in their life. And I, I just hope it can help them for yeah. the most part. Laugh or cry, whatever. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> nice. Uh, conspiracies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> conspiracies, right? I've <clears throat> over listening to a few. I've heard you say a couple like, oh, I'm into conspiracies. Mm -hmm. Me? That's my niche right there. Okay. I thrive off that shit. Do you believe in all that? Um, like are you a conspiracist? Like, like things that may or may not exist, like yeah. chupacabras or Bigfoot, COVID-19? I, I can't... The t <laughs> I don't know. I'm still debating on the Bigfoot thing. I've been wanting to say that joke the forever, <laughs> by the, the way. Clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big conspiracy itself. <laughs> I don't even know where it's at sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good, you found it, because I didn't know where it was at. Don't lose it, don't lose it. <laughs> we should test the cobwebs off. <laughs> anyway, conspiracy, sorry, mm. dude. I had to throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm the type of girl where, I, I mean, I can be gullible, gullible, excuse me, but when it comes to people that are higher up or that are like, you just don't, like doctors, for instance, like doctors said to do this, do it. Right. I question everything. I'm like, right. Just because you're a doctor doesn't mean that you're a hundred percent right. Yeah, you have a lot going for you. You've done all yeah. the the schooling, you've done you put your time in, and there is a lot of great doctors out there. But there's also doctors that take kickbacks that, you know, aren't completely honest up front. Or doctors can get seized too, you know? And so oh, yeah. there's just a lot of thing like if front it it kind of infuriates me when people well, don't question him. Right. He's a doctor. Right. Or don't question him because he's the president. Or don't question this person because, you know, the CDC. This is what they say. This is what, you know, I'm like, dude, if you go back and you do some, act, just a little bit of research, you don't even have to dig deep. You could see the corruption there. Right. So how am I supposed to trust this person 100% when they, in the past they have this corruption? And so that's why I'm like, I question majority of everything. So right. You don't live in a bubble. No. You've gone outside. You don't. I, I mean, used to, but not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I was in a big bubble. <laughs> that bubble got popped in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, sure did. <laughs> that bubble started with che Peter the Cheater. Yes. Oh, there Thank goes another you. check. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome again. Just paid for your son's schooling. Do, does that mean we have to start writing Peter the Cheater? <laughs> yeah, shout, out, shout out to Peter. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of the podcast is brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, um, I mean, the whole, you know, and I'm not going to get like crazy into it, but just, um, you know, when the 9-11 happened, like, I think there's a lot of things that. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't buy it. You guys. I Hell don't yes. buy that. They, they, you know, it was a terrorist attack. I don't buy it a hundred percent. Like mm. there's testimonies from firemen saying it doesn't sound like this when a building falls or it right. doesn't fall like this when it's been hit by a plane. There was dynamite underneath. I heard the explosions. Like, there's just so many things people are just like, nope, didn't hear it. I'm like, how could you, how could you deny that? But because Sorry, I, I'm but, very passionate about but, it. No, 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 no I, I love you, it. Go ahead. But the, the, the government said, no, 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 no. Well, we're trained that we have to believe them, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way it has to be. Mm -hmm. When there's so much shit, there's so much evidence out there that, well, why'd this tower fall down? Nothing got hit. What's the problem? <clears throat> the Pentagon. That one blows me the fuck exactly. away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, if, you know, people that are listening to this podcast, I just always say question everything and yep. do your research and don't just believe it because, you know, people, other people idle this person or whatever. Like, right. just do it yourself. Like, just take the time just to do a little bit of research and, and come up. I call them sheeple. Don't be a sheeple. Right. Like, I can't stand <laughs> sheeple that are just like, well, they said so. I, so this is why I do it. I'm like, well, have you researched the other yeah, side of this? Right. No. Well, then what the hell? <laughs> mm -hmm. Research both sides. And, and it's tough now. There's such a divide with everybody. Mm, big you divide. Can't, you, you can't explain that to somebody. We'll just do some research. Oh, no. Well, so-and-so said, said this. And well, so-and-so said this. Mm -hmm. And it's, everybody's on that side of the fence now. Nobody wants to look at the real facts. Mm -hmm. um, it's like this whole COVID thing. I was just going to say COVID. My God, man, I have it. Uh, I'm an immune suppressed individual. I have Crohn's disease, mm -hmm. so I really have to be careful with this. He's a germaphobe. <laughs> oh, did I shake your hand? You so have, sorry. I, I think I think good. I cleaned him. We're good. Yes, what do you think? I was here two hours before <laughs> cleaning the studio for okay. this. So, <laughs> but uh, I have to be careful with it. Uh -huh. But when I look at all the facts, I'm like, well, these people are getting it. Everybody's got it now. 
there's not that many people dying like they said it would. So well, I have such a hard time biting you, off. You sounded sound disappointed. I do. <laughs> God damn it! Because I'll, I'll be honest, I am a germ phobe. I don't do mo- movie theaters. I mm-hmm. don't do public pools. I don't do that stuff. People standing six feet away from me. You would die. I fucking out with me. love this. I love this. <laughs> People washing their hands all the time. I love this. I get an orgasmic experience mm-hmm. washing my hands. Yeah. yeah just the same as has been fist, fisting since <laughs> 1981. Yeah. And now that we do the elbows, I'm just like, next we're on to something. I did the kick. Thing, you know, I did the feet thing. That's yeah. a good no, that's one what do. we do. We do the kick thing. Nah, I don't I do mean, feet either. So. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Wow. You got <laughs> issues. Yeah, <either. laughs> Fuck. Is this your first time here? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, God. You'd hate hanging out with me because I'm such a, like, all over. I'm, like, in your face. Like, I don't know any, like, personal <laughs> space. <laughs> you like, what? I didn't think I was going to get yeah, a motorboat like, today. Justin? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, the going back to the COVID thing, if you think about it, it's like, you know, the flu season happens every year. Right. Okay? And th- I'm sorry. I've That's a little bit more deadly, I think, than COVID. And then we, we're we not taking all these extra precautions. We're not closing down businesses. We're not making people wear masks and stuff like that during a freaking flu season. Well, there's not, an, the ele- there's not an election going on every year, so. That's true. That's <laughs> true. See? And that's what I'm thinking. And there was also an article, and this is actually, this is out in the open. If you just research it, you'll find it. Look into it. Yeah, look into it. But uh, like just here in Utah, and this I, isn't. I the, do enough work in this fucking podcast. I'm here like, to do I'm some dead. research. I'm done. Fuck research. Who needs that? No, but the Utah hospitals here, they're the COVID count. Um, what's going on? And doctors even finally have come out. Some doctors that aren't afraid anymore, they've come out and said that people aren't really dying of COVID. People that have a heart attack, they're writing down that they died of COVID because what's happening, the hospital's getting a big insurance they get a kick, check. They get a kickback. get a kickback. Kick yep. From the government. What the fuck? So the guy has high, he's completely obese, got the COVID, has a heart attack. Well, well, we'll just check that one off on that one. Or well, they don't even have to have attack. COVID. Yeah, right. And, but yeah, but if you do have COVID, you died from that, even though you really didn't die from COVID. Right. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm not going to believe everything you say. And when there's so much conspiracy stuff that goes behind doors, closed doors and, you know, and people, you know, people do a lot of things for money and I'm just, yeah. And it's really hard too, because where I stand on the radio, it's almost like I have to be mutual. That's what I wanted to ask you. You can't get really political. I can't get too deep into it. You know, like there's other, my other beliefs that, don't really go along with the crowd and I can't really talk about them right? because of where I stand and it's hard. Do you feel restricted being under that iHeart media or iHeart radio with your podcast as well? Do you still have to kind of watch your P's and Q's? You know, the podcast, I'm kind of like until they catch me. Right. So my (laughs) podcast is like my views a hundred percent. Right. And so the, and I've, you know, I've been told that too. It's like, talk about whatever you want but on the that's, podcast. That's the idea, right? Right. Like, I mean, if they came to you to start a podcast, yeah. it's because they already heard what you're doing and, mm-hmm. and they like what they hear. Mm-hmm. Right. It's not nece- you know what I mean? Like, not yeah. necessarily, oh, we want you to do this, but we need to change days. And I'll be like, oh, fuck mm-hmm. off. Yeah. 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 So my podcast, I, I have like free range. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I do give my opinions on the radio too. It's just, I, I contain them a little bit, right. you know, and I feel like you kind of have to do that. Right. You know, and like, again, we don't talk about religion or politics and stuff for good reasons. But, you know, I can let loose on my podcast. I'm fine. We don't talk. We don't do politics here. Never. Religion every now and then. Right? <clears throat> a little but, bit. Of, but it's a little bit well, of conspiracies. It's more of a it's more about making fun of ourselves but when it comes to religion. We, we, we yeah. just, we're just not into that. We don't. We, everybody needs a break from that bullshit. Exactly. When, when we hope that people turn this on and listen to us. To not hear about <clears throat> this side of the fence or that side of the fence, though. Exactly. It's a nice little break for when, us. When COVID started, we used to, right before we press, uh, press record, we were like, are we going to talk about it? or Because it's everywhere. You know what I mean? And then we were like- It's blasted do, do, everywhere. Do we want to yeah. give the, the people mm-hmm. all the things to talk about? Like maybe laugh at ourselves more than, you know, tragedy mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So we, think, we used to. I think we had fun with it. Yeah. You know, obviously it's 
kind of starting to well who knows we next did, week it'll ramp back up but we did a video it, it went away though when there's protesters it right. wasn't even existing we did an episode <laughs> all with hazmat suits and this is even before before a video and we're seeing they're sweating our fucking guts <laughs> what? You, wait 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 you were wearing hazmat suits and you weren't even recording no no <laughs> we were on the uh, we just for the we photo girl for the gram oh bro. my bad <laughs> but you stayed in them the entire time you're podcasting yeah, oh, we, yeah, and then we started with our glasses with with the mask on too and they were fogging like, up on hey, us. Should we take them off? Or, yeah. You know, <laughs> Glass are all fogged up. There was one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Hell yeah. I wish I listened to your on the way here. I listened to the very first episode of your podcast. Ooh. It was ooh, it was pretty rough. Hey, wasn't all, it? Everybody's podcasts yeah, are rough yeah. in the very beginning. Mine's horrible. And um, I was listening to it. I mean, I, I got had some good laughs, but the one you talked about how naps don't matter, that you talked about oh, how I don't take naps. Yeah. I speed on myself. Yeah, no, naps. no, no. I think, see, I completely on the other side. I think you need a quick little 20 minute, 30 minute nap just Although to re, I, to get you through the day. I and you, it's not just women that take naps. I say majority of men take naps. I just wanted to tell you, you that. You take naps, Justin? No, I don't take but naps. He, but, but see, it's so funny you mentioned this because I was just talking to him before you showed up. Now, now back in the day, I would take a weed nap probably oh, yeah, tw- for sure. 20 yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. Right before you came up, I was talking to him and I, I went to the, uh, I went to wise guys, shout out to wise guys to come to the club. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the wife and I were excited to see this, this, this gal. And by the time she, cause I woke up early yesterday and I was buying stuff to be ready for you, li- you know, literally for, be ready for you <laughs> here today. So we were working early in the morning. Uh-huh. We came here, we moved things around and I went home. Yeah. Get this. Tell her, tell her, you took, I, uh, well, Tell her, go. The pigeon tell lost her. its pants. No, 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 tell no, no, her exactly no. what you were going to tell me. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> keep going, keep going. So I went home and 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 I was gonna I was gonna meet him at four, and by the time I got home, I was like, maybe I should just close my eyes. But instead of that, but instead of that, uh-huh. I I put food in my mouth. See, I, I you you should have just taken the nap instead of putting it out. I had need because I knew I was going to eat at the, at the club, mm-hmm. but I'm like, I need to eat something on a blackout. But also, I'm like, on the weekends, I'm like half dieting. <laughs> 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 but so I was like, I need to eat something. I want to black out. Mm-hmm. And so I, I ate, and then I look at the clock. I'm like, well, now I got to go. Mm-hmm. So by the time. But you were thinking about by the, it. By the time the headliner came mm-hmm. out, I swear, I was, my wife was like, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, Trying to open my eyes and trying to stretch, and I'm the front row. Maybe you should try taking just a twenty minute nah. nap. It's they call them power naps for reasons. You take naps. You seem like you're busy all, all day long. You I take try, nap. and when I can, I will totally take advantage of a power nap. One hundred percent. Do you make your kids nap? No, that's they're so done. It's impossible, isn't it? They're over it's the napping stage. Right? No, they're four and five. They're like causing so havoc. What do you do? Kids don't do anything. <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> no, this up. is what we really do. They have their Nintendo DSs, and uh, they're not allowed. They only have like an hour a day they can play them, and so they get an extra a little bit of time to play them when I take a nap. So they love it when mom takes a nap. Yeah. So we go in my bed. I just have a you know t- king size bed. I sleep in the middle. They sleep on. So it's almost like I'm still p- spending time with them, but I'm not. <laughs> So they're on, they're on each side of me, and they're playing their DSs, and I'm just Y'all, snoozing. This is quality, isn't it? <laughs> We're here as a family. <laughs> I'm passed like out. coming out of your mouth. <laughs> well, I hate it too because they don't really know it. They don't know how to read yet, and so they're like, "I'll be taking a nap." Like, mom, mom, what mom. does this say? What is? It? I'm like, uh, damn it! I should have given you just to put a movie on. <laughs> so I, I have two girls. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a nine year old and a five year old. And I'll be like, the little one, I'm like, okay, you're getting reckless right now. Let's go take a nap. She's like, yeah, whatever, motherfucker. <laughs> so I'll put her she's in all, her room. She's all, <laughs> fuck off, this is smoking. Shut up, dad. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> so I'll put her in her room, and I will I'll go outside, and it's quiet, all right? And I'll just kind of chill out. Well, I can just hear her playing with the goddamn toys in the room. She's not taking a damn nap. Well, and she's I'll, five. Yeah, for an hour. And I'm like, I'll walk back in there. There are fucking beds on the ceiling and shit. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That's, but that's kind of good, right? Because they're not neither. What? So they're my, done. My yeah. kids are on a schedule. 8.30, they're in bed. Mine too. And, and, and I've never had an issue where people are like, oh, you know, Junior stayed up till 3 o'clock last night with me. Crazy. Doing this. And me? 
Those kids at eight thirty are ready to die because I've had them on this schedule. And they well, kids always need go to schedules, bed, right? They do, right? and people, and that you know, I fought this with my you know ex husband. Like we fought about that a lot. Is about keeping them on a schedule. I was a person that, well, I was with the majority of the time, so you're staying on the schedule. You know, <laughs> mom needs sleep, and so I would keep them on a schedule. And his family didn't really do schedules, yeah, and right? so. We butted heads on that, but it really is good for them to be on a schedule and it's good for you as well. Like I know you used to do 8.30, mine's about 8, 8.30, usually it's 8 o'clock. I probably should extend it, but I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I have to wake up early, so it's super important for me as well, yeah. you know, now that the single life and stuff. And so we we stay on a schedule and they wake up around 7, 7.30 and they, they, they don't nap anymore. It's fine, whatever. But if they do fall asleep, then it's hard to get them to sleep that night. So right. I prefer them not to even take a nap. Are they, right. are they scheduled, even your kids, are they scheduled on the, on the weekends too? Uh, every day. Really? Every single day. The only, if you too? we ever go do anything, mm -hmm. something late, you know, whatever it is, that will be the exception of the rules. But other than that, yeah. and, and, and if we take them out and about, they're dead. By the mm -hmm. time, you know, we get done, they've all passed out in the car, but always 8.30, get those damn kids into bed. Plus, that's your quiet time. Exactly. Yeah, that's the time where everybody winds down, and you can watch Skinamax. You're off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my drink. God. It's about time I can have a drink. Well, no, I lie. Start that before they're, they go to bed. <laughs> uh, one, one more thing I, that really intrigues me with what you've talked about is this intermittent fasting deal. Mm -hmm. Um Give me a rundown of when you wake up, when you eat, what you'll be eating, and give me the whole rundown of that. Because okay. a lot of people don't know mm -hmm. about intermittent fasting. I, because of my diet, for my, my Crohn's disease, I've really got to watch what I do. Mm -hmm. So if I overload on it, it can be a bad thing for oh, me. Yeah. So I've been waking up, cup of coffee, mm -hmm. no sugar, no cream, yep. and I will go all the way till noon, one o'clock, and have a small lunch. Mm -hmm. And then maybe a dinner. <clears throat> yep. So. Well, okay. So the thing with intermittent fasting and what a lot of people, the confusion is what I've come to find out is they think it's a diet, but it's not. It's a lifestyle change. Right. This is something I'm in, implementing in my life that I'm going to keep throughout my entire life. It's not just to hurry and lose weight. It's a way of life. It's the way I, I eat and, you know, keep my weight down right. or lose weight if you want, then you go longer. But um, so I start... Um, I stop eating about eight o'clock is my, my limit. Like I know that when eight o'clock hits, I'm not going to eat or drink anything with calories in it. I'm, I'm just done. And so usually it's like around seven. That was when I stop eating. And then I, I, you know, obviously go to bed and then I wake up, I'll have black coffee because you can have that when you're fasting. Um, I don't add any sugar or cream to it and I drink a coffee and I drink a lot of water and then I get home from work. I usually get home around like 11.30 a.m. And I'll eat like 11.30 noon. And it's usually something healthy. I try to, you know, I, I, I eat whatever I want usually. But I try to eat more on the healthier side. You know, veggies, right. rice, some chicken or, you know, turkey meat. Um, I don't like to eat a lot of red meat. Uh, and then I eat that. And it's like. That gets me through the rest of the day. It's almost, it's to the point where I can get down to just one meal a day. Sometimes I eat a light dinner, but your stomach shrinks over time. And like, you'll get to a point where it's, you're not living to eat, but you're eating, or sorry, excuse me. You're not eating. To <laughs> Come on, wait, where's this going? Because <laughs> this, this doesn't sound good. <laughs> this sounds like we're in Ethiopia. <laughs> well, a lot of people live to eat. You need to eat to live. Yeah. And so it gets down to just like, I'm just giving my body what I need to survive. And, and the weekends I usually like fudge. I don't really like, cause you know, getting drunk and <laughs> it kind of throws the timeline off a little bit. And so like, I'm not too harsh on the weekends. So that's kind of like my, you know, whatever, but I usually still end up implementing that mm -hmm. because it's just, my body's used to it. I usually don't like eat until, you know, like I haven't even eaten yet. I don't even know what time it is, but you getting this angel. You're, you're and, and I'm this? fine. And, and you're, Why? you're <laughs> when no. you, when Go you ahead. first start, your body will go through that adjustment phase just yeah. with everything that you're, you know, starting new. And so don't, a lot of people get discouraged because like, Oh my gosh, my blood sugar is low or right. something. Or, you know, obviously you have medical stuff going on. So you got to take that in consideration and work around that. But in the end, it's it cures a lot of things and a lot of problems people have had, at least who I've talked to, right. that have had some type of disease and they've like finally got it down to where it's like they don't even need to take that medication anymore or it's not as as harsh, you know. And so it's, right. I think everybody should be doing it and it's great. It's not like 
you know, I'm promoting some protein powder yeah, or yeah. something like that. I right. hate that stuff. I hate it when people are like, oh my gosh, take these pills, these diet pills. I don't, I don't take any of that shit. I don't do protein powders. I just eat healthy for the most part. And I have a certain time when I eat and yeah. You just don't engorge yourself. No. And that's the biggest issue with a lot of people is, a, well, you know, I have my cheat date, so I'm allowed to what, eat 8,000 calories today. Mm -hmm. So you've just fucked off your whole week, right? Well, and I don't like that. I don't like saying cheat days because I'm like, if I'm really craving that donut or that ice cream, I'm just going to fucking have it. Yeah. You know, because when you start depriving yourself, that's when you, I think you get in trouble and then you just fall off the bandwagon. My, my problem is I, I, I have to be on a diet because otherwise I would, I would literally eat until it doesn't go down anymore. <laughs> like I, that's like, I'm like, I eat until mm -hmm. then I'm like, I want to sit here for like half hour until I can move, <laughs> you know? And, yeah. and I, I usually do, uh, Atkins. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is just like. I, it, it allows me to eat it you know, as, much as, 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 as much as 2020. 2008 has gone a long time ago, Mr. Atkins. <laughs> I, know, I didn't know anybody still did what? Atkins. I mean, yeah, that's the good well, on I, you. I, I try, I, <laughs> I keeping I, it alive. I, I tried. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, you know how that guy died. Yeah, that did that die? Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't die. Was, he fell on ice. <laughs> yeah. He slipped on ice and broke his neck. Because mm. he was fat. No, he wasn't bad. <laughs> well, that's right, he wasn't. Uh, no, because I, I try to do keto, and mm -hmm. it, it, just, it just didn't do anything for me. Mm. And it's and they're not that far away from mm -hmm. each other. Have you ever tried intermittent fasting? No, I never tried that. You should try that. <laughs> Yo, he, here's a question, and, and this is a legit question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm well, on think, the edge of my think, seat. Think about this one first. No, no, no. <laughs> when, when, I, when I do Atkins, I rarely go to the bathroom. <laughs> I heard you like to fart a lot too. Yeah, that you too, right? Dark. No, well, I mean, it happens. <laughs> it depends on what I eat. <laughs> Cherries are no, a problem if, for me. If you, if, you <laughs> if you listen to the podcast, the good girl, yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's my kind of girl. That's my kind of guest. <laughs> uh, but, um, but usually when I when I eat when I'm on on Atkins like mm -hmm. I go I seriously go to the bathroom like three times a week. What? That's yeah. unhealthy. See, the, see what are I are you said? kidding but me? He, if I don't go twice a day, I'm like something's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I'm like get me to the doctor that I don't believe in. Something's wrong. Because that's what I do. But, but when I'm not on the diet, uh, I, like I can eat a burger and then I'm turning around and going to the bathroom. But remember when we were talking about septic tanks? Shit yeah. marinating and shit. Oh gosh, that's what your body's Ew. doing there, bud. No, it's healthy shit. It's yeah, not. no, it's turning into <laughs> toxins. You can't get that shit the out of your body. You guys literally. want me in this fucking show or yeah, what? Yeah, I'm kind of Jesus concerned Christ. for you now. Like I really am. <laughs> no, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> that's just. That's just it, it's always worked for. It's always worked out for me. I never done that it? though. I never done that. <laughs> What? Oh <laughs> yes, I'm totally messing with you. Oh no, <laughs> I really like your dreads. By the hey, way, was, I, was, oh, thank I you. appreciate those. Thanks. Every time I want to cut him, someone says that. <laughs> <laughs> just this. Half. She has just become my favorite guest ever. Oh, yeah, for sure. By the way, I must. I must say, uh -huh. I told you you were like our first woman guest. Yes, we've had our wives and Justin's beautiful aunt and my number one fan. Justin's mom. Mm -hmm. We've Don't had him. Watch your mouth. Yeah. Mother, please. <laughs> but, but you know, but we, we've had him here. Uh -huh. This is like not non related. You're the first one. Well, seriously, like, I, and we hope I'm honored the, we right hope now. It's not the last time either. No, no. Oh, yeah. It won't be. Bring all your friends too. <laughs> Are you sure you can handle that? <laughs> it's a group. Need more mics. There's a lot of germs too. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> I can sit outside. <laughs> Just push the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you want to ask us? Um, how long have you guys been doing this podcast? About a year and started March last year. Yeah, so a year and some months. Actually, February we started doing uh, like pilots. Mm -hmm. We did three episodes that we never. We did one episode and never uploaded it, mm -hmm. and then we recorded it three times. And then we uploaded the first time in March. This is episode seventy-three. Three. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I remember you guys talking about that you started in, was it your garage, yeah, in Justin? My, in my basement. Yeah. Your basement. Yeah. And now you've moved to this pretty sick. Uh, right? Yeah, I, li I like it. This little office podcast. And this is, this stabbing is, this cabin. is literally brand new. Like, cabin. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> write that down. Uh, we, this is literally brand new. Like that couch hasn't been used. You're the first one, and, and yeah, then, it and looks then like we, it hasn't been used. Just <laughs> the stare yeah, right here. Okay, okay. So hey, you don't have to when say you, that when you're okay. looking. It really looks when you're brand looking new. for furniture, hey, and you need we, a matching set. We but you're on a budget. <laughs> all we gotta do is put a sticker there. We're I good. Mean, <laughs> why are you robbing the homeless? I mean, that's hey, not cool. Hey, sister, not all of us can do our podcast from our house. I do have the pigeon though. We can do mine. I think you need to bring the pigeon on the show. That's that's he won't do it. No, 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 you know what? He won't shut the fuck up though. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, why? I I get you on that. Yeah, no, no, he won't. Fuck. (laughs) Isn't there a rapper that does a all the time? Probably. Birdman. Right. Birdman. Birdman? Right? Wow. So oh, yeah, there you go. Why didn't we know that? <laughs> well, we were talking about Atkins Pigeon in 2008. Man. I figured we'd just take it back. Hey, if you if you had to do one thing out of everything you do, what would it be? Like, you have to quit everything but one thing. Oh. Except um, for being a mom. You can't handle yeah, those off somebody else. I'm not to, well, I mean, I technically could quit it, but I'm not. Well, I mean, you, I'm going to stick it out. I committed. Um, you know, I would have to say... Mm, I, so I dance too. I'm a dancer as well. And I, Jesus that's Christ. like, yeah, I, I freaking, the, I'll is, that why, is that why you moved to Vegas? No. <laughs> Different kind of dancing? I mean, no. I didn't do that. I didn't well, do that. Well, let's dancing. just be clear. That's where, that's where I met my wife. She used to be a dancer. Oh, dish for real? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Keep listening to the podcast. You'll yeah. find out. <laughs> I can't no, wait. Yeah, that's what, that's what I, no, yeah. the only thing that I've ever done that's kind of like on the, I guess, risky side, risque is uh, I used to burlesque a little bit. So I did that. Oh, nice. But I'm mainly a hip hop dancer, like kind of, yeah, type deal. Nice. So I actually nice. have a dance coming up in like a month, but it keeps getting postponed because of. I'm your boy. I'll coronavirus. dance. Coronavirus. I used, I, 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 I'm. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to say shit with Justin. He was like, oh, yeah, fuck her. No, but, but if I, 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 I love dancing. Uh huh. Yeah. You what? I love dancing. <laughs> I love dancing. Do you dance like nobody's watching? <laughs> That's da- the only way to do I it. I like dancing mm-hmm. in the ceiling. <laughs> no, but I, I used to dance like I used to dance like Michael Jackson back home. Oh damn. I see I can never do that move where he slides, you know, with uh, his feet. What is it called? The moonwalk. Moon moon the moonwalk. I can never I always guy. tried and just failed. I'm your guy. One of my best friends says if I knew how to do that, I would go to the grocery store and I would do that. We're always going backwards. The whole right? time just fucking grabbing your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but. but yeah, I would be, uh, you know, I'd probably do that. For, like, I mean, I, I guess technically I probably could do it professionally, but I'm just not, I have so many things that I'm doing. I can't really like besides media, media is kind of my number one focus and priority. And so I love, I love the media part. I think eventually I'm going to move in more like the, the TV world. Um, I, I, I love radio. I don't know how long that, you know, I'm going to stay in that, but is that your choice or someone else's? What radio? Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, prior to that, I never saw myself in radio. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw myself doing podcasting, so it's kind of along the lines a little bit, same kind of area. But no, I, I never thought of uh, radio, but it's it's helped me a lot in certain things. And, you know, I do love it, you know, and I, I, I see myself there for some time, but I don't think it's going to be end game. Right. Okay. But yeah, I, I dancing is just a, just a really, it's a big passion of mine and um, I just, you know, I've ripped both of my hamstrings when I did cheer in high school. So it's kind of fucked me over and I've never, I'm like bitter, you know, I've never been, I'm just like, oh, it sucks. Cause I can't do like really the splits anymore. And so like when, you, for me, a true dancer, you're like, you gotta be pretty flexible. So it's kind of like, it's more going to be just a hobby, but yeah, I, I think I'll probably TV media world. I'll always like just go in that direction. Nice. I, I, one, one, one last question. Have, has, have, have the podcast helped you find out something about yourself? Like us, we found out. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, here you go. Are you just ready for this? We yeah. found out we got molested. What? Yeah. No. While, while we were talking about it, like on a regular wow. episode, we were like, wait, did we get molested? And I had a friend that were like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's like, he got molested and you almost got kidnapped. I'm like, Shit. oh, goddamn. <laughs> Have you ever found out anything like that? Not, nothing that severe. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> I mean, not yet, anyways. Uh, you, the thing that I'm like coming to learn is like, like I said, I don't. Li- yeah, come here. <laughs> what uh, I've learned <laughs> is. <about> molested. <laughs> I was just waiting. Sounds like your experience is way better than ours. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to pop in. He says, "Well, I was coming. Thank you so much for hanging out with uh, us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just finish just it right end there. it right there. <laughs> uh, what I've learned is just my life's just like fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm just like, what? How do I do all this shit? And I think when I you know review it and when I'm editing it, that's I'm like, wow. I'm like, dude. W- we've done some crazy shit pertaining to my friends and I. And yeah, so I think that's just kind of like 
I don't realize what I'm doing, but when I kind of play it back over and I'm editing it, I'm just like, well, that's pretty crazy. I right. can't believe I did that, or I can't believe I put myself in that situation. Because right. I've been in some pretty sketch situations. <laughs> yeah, like the one you went to that Latin club and you were afraid for your life. <laughs> Whatever. Hey! <laughs> Whatever. What? That was North her Hollywood. Exact, her exact words were like... <laughs> Is this the cartel? I'm like, Jeez. you don't understand those guys. They're in suits. It was sketch. Where, where was this? It was in North Hollywood. Oh yeah, yeah. it was Studio City. You can't, I will go there and be like, <laughs> is this my people? <laughs> they know you I'm by name. Like home. <laughs> hey Joe, where's I'm the like, nachos? Fucking <laughs> say my name. Oh, oh. that's funny. Any any big plans for uh, the future for you for your podcast or? Mm, um. Mm -hmm -hmm. Like uh, the only plan that I have, I'm just kind of moving in a little bit of a di different direction. Like I said, I'm going to start bringing people that are kind of not in my circle. So kind of venturing outside of my circle. So I think that people that are going to continue to listen to The Good Girl are going to see that transition a little bit. Uh, it still obviously will be about my life and stuff, but I'm also going to kind of bring them into my circle as well. So I'm opening up my circle, I guess you could say. But that's that's all and then obviously you know doing the radio gig i think you know just getting through this covid i think that's a challenge like getting through um you know mm -hmm. concerts being shut down and closed yeah. it's like you know it sucks it really sucks and then sports isn't there like it's hard to have an out right now for right. people and like usually we turn to sports we turn to going to concerts to have that out and we don't have that so i think it's just getting through this year is going to be a challenge so i think focusing on like figuring out what what can we do to you know still entertain things right. like that so well that's that's one of the things that i i texted you about because what what we're trying to do is is build and i came up with this check this out dude there we go again we want to be a part of a pub unity mm -hmm. oh i like that i like it <laughs> jesus and i and no b because what happens is uh uh we mainly follow the same podcast mm -hmm. and they're all comedians. And what happens is they go to, you know, each other's shows mm -hmm. and, and for us coming here and we had no one's help, but Dre once again, shout out to Dre and, and, uh, and we go to his show and then he comes to us uh, and, and, and I would like to expand that with other shows, you know, mm -hmm. we asked, networking and yeah, reaching and, out. Yeah. And yeah. then we, we asked another show, but they, yeah, they never, they never reached up. back, and we were excited about it. Losers. They were, they were, they were very LDS. <laughs> They're missing out. They were very LDS. Yeah, very LDS. And, mm. but, but the concept that they have about their show was pretty cool. So we were like, oh, yeah, let's, let's talk, about, talk about ghosts and creepy shit. You know? Well, I, see, that's the thing I never understood. Like, people that are very, like, religious or something, like, oh, I can't be on your show yeah, because see, you, yeah. you might cuss a little bit. You know what? But... To know that you can be versatile is mm -hmm. a strength in itself. And I think right. they're missing out. Yeah. And, shame and, and, you know, and shame just, on them. And, and, and if we ever did this and they wanted us to be there, it's not like we're going to come in like, hey, what's up, cocksuckers? <laughs> or like, none of that. You know what I mean? Like, we'll, I'll be like, oh, this is, you know, this is their, their feel. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and the, yeah, just like what you said, I did a podcast with, um, oh gosh, what was her name? Paula... Not Paula Abdul. Dean. No. Abdul? That's what I was going to say. Abdul? I can't remember her last name, but she's a therapist. <laughs> she wanted to talk about my love life. And I went on there and I, you know, I didn't cuss at all. I was very respectful. Yeah. And that's the thing is like people that think that you can't be versatile, like shame on them. That's not cool. No. It's so funny how people go in your podcast. They're like, oh yeah, shit. I was like, oh, can I say that? <laughs> and then they say, oh shoot. I'm like, well, you already said it. Why, <laughs> no, why a lot of my it? friends do that. They're like, fuck. I mean, f I, no, it's fine. Just let it flow. Like, go. Yeah, exactly. Just now you're making yourself. it weird. <laughs> be yourself. Anyway. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for yeah, having we, me. We love it. And hopefully it's not the first time. I mean, mm -hmm. it is the first time. Hopefully it's not the last time. Mm. And uh, yeah, you we'll got, go to yours. You got that? Anytime. <laughs> The Good Girl Podcast. It's G U R L. Yes, that's Is right. It everywhere, iTunes, it's everywhere. Spotify, you Google find me Play. everywhere under a rock, even Rock One Hundred Six Seven Morning Show. Mm -hmm. DB Hooker, Hooker DB and Becca. And Becca. Yeah, I said it backwards. It's okay. By the way, you 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 name me one of the smartest person in the universe. Oh yeah, time. he's Did got I? a recording of it. I have the recording. Oh, of it. Yeah. Well, right I, never, on. I, I never got my 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 whatever I want. What? I, I actually called because I thought it was Guns N' Roses uh, tickets. Oh really? This is back then, yeah. Oh, back in the day. Yeah, but mm. I, it was like a month ago. <laughs> anyway, are you good, dude? I'm good. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Don't forget to follow the other side of the Beehive Pod on Instagram, the other side of the Beehive Podcast on Facebook, the other side of the Beehive on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Anything else? 
I think I'm good. You want to give a shout out? Yeah, give all a your shout handles. Out to uh, yeah, shout out to all my peeps and. Uh, oh, jeez, that's <laughs> super gangster. I'll edit that. A super. Well, thug. I just really have to pee, so I just can we end this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey guys, we'll see you on the other side of the beehive. Peace.